All right, what's up, Joey? I'm going to do these in segments and put the whole video together like I'm actually doing like a recording recording, just so you know. All right, I took these all out of the savers already to look at. Um, you can tell right there. Big old thumbprint. That'll wipe off. Uh, let's see here. Down here where the S is at, let me see if I can get in the glare, right there, see that S, you got a scratch mark going right down through it, diagonal. There's a smaller one there through the W. Let me use this cloth real quick, that fingerprint's just killing me looking at it. Alright, let me put this back down. Little bit of whiting down here and here, which we'll look at in the camera. I will bring that up once I figure out which button I gotta click here. It's this one. Oh, I got a pug under me. Pug under me. So you kind of can tell there a little bit of the whiting down there. More right there than anything. And then just a little bit there. It's noticeable. Where's that at back here? Below the football. All right. Up high in the middle of the circle, we see them two little divot marks. I'll bring it down here in the dark. Now it's between the lights coming up, or I'll put it in the light. Left light has kind of on them right now. You can see those. And I'll show you these scratches here. We had, what was it, the S and W, I believe? Yeah. There they are. Being numbered 7 of 8, I mean, you might get an 8 on this. I don't know how bad you want to grade it, what you want to do with it. Your call. As I review these, I'm putting them back in your stuff here. Let me lay them up there. Wiseman Mosaic is up next. I'll pull the camera down so we can looky looky. Scratch going down here. Big old line down here at the bottom going across. This is a silver, isn't it? Maybe not. I thought it was a silver. Looks pretty silverish to me. Kind of weird. Let me look at your other ones here. Oh, they all say prism on the back. Okay. No, these silvers do not say silver. Prism. Huh. Odd. Okay. Never mind. Throwing me off. I didn't do much of this year's mosaic, so I didn't know that. Let me see a cloth here. I'm going to see if this comes out. No. All right. Put this on your pack pack. Right, I'm going to pull a camera up. We will go ahead and looky looky. I'll show you this line at the bottom. Well, you kind of seen it better. It's right there. You can kind of see the surface scratches there as well. With that whole line there at the bottom. And then, let's see if I can get this in here. See that scratch right there? Going down upper right to bottom left. I think that's just fuzz. Yeah, that's fuzz. You got a little bit of rough into here too, and I'll show you. 
it might not come up onto the camera very well. It's right below the light. We're in the light. It's going to be harder to see unless I angle this. Let me see if I can try to angle it somehow for you. Oh, that didn't help. I did it. Let me try it this way. I guess not. Now you also got this moon piece right here into it between the lights. So I probably wouldn't send that in anywhere, to be honest. All right, what do you just do with your sleeve? Let me put it on here. Oh, there it is. Always lose the sleeves. And whatever you don't want, just let me know. Your um, Lamello Genesis is scheduled here Monday. And I'll just put it in the box with the Lamello to come back. I'm going to do one more and I'm going to start cutting video back and forth. They'll all be in one, though. Little mark down here at the bottom. Let me see if I can show it to you. Right below, the, see where the light's now bouncing down? I'll move it away. You can see that indent right there real well. A little bit of uh, surface marks going from to the left of the light through the goldfishy right there going through. Back, bottom right corner has whiting and bottom left has whiting top as well. I know these are out of 49. See the whiting there? Whiting there. Whiting there. I'm trying to see if I can get that mark in here for you to show you. There it is, right there. If you look at that second piece, like almost in the middle, it's green. Now it's turning colors. But you can see where that's at. And then... Just a real faint print line there. I wouldn't really worry about that. But the rest of it's probably at least going to get you a 9. Um, maybe lower. I do not know. Alright, I guess it's going to be three cards. And then I'll just keep recording different segments. So I'll be right back. Oh, guess who's back? Back again. X is back. Tell your friends. Anthony Edwards, pink camo rookie. Hard to see this, but I'm going to see if I can make it focus a little. I have to pull it on a camera to show you. Okay, the light is coming down, and I'm about to touch it. I'm going to take it off. See a real little chip up in there? Kind of noticeable. I don't know what these really sell for, so I can't be much help there. Definitely got something on the back here, too. I'll pull this up once this uh, exit that out. All right. See those scuffs right there? It's kind of like going into the uh, chromish gloss in the back film. You are going to get ding there. And then. Well, it don't look too bad here. It just looks worse when I'm not looking at it. But you can see it between the lights right there. The mark I was looking at on front. But, I mean, the rest of the card looks pretty clean. I mean, I'm really amping up the uh, stuff onto it. So all of these, like, surface lines and stuff are going to show up a lot more. But just so I can show you more in depth what I'm seeing. You can see it don't look bad overall. Cause, I mean, I'm really pulling up your stuff onto it. 
Good, let me know, let me know. Oop, front pull this down. Torque's up next. If I look at this, I first seen it. Look at your centering left and right. It's bad. You have to go with the edge of the chrome here and the chrome like background there, mirror. And when I put the thing up against it, it was uh, very, very. I mean, they'd be very generous to give you a 10 on the centering. I'll just say that. Little divot down here. A few little marks in the back, I'll show you. If I can find them. Where do I just see them at? Right above the major league dude. Right there, a little divot. Lights on it now, off to the left of the light. And the one on front is in the chrome right there. Oop, I'll put it up higher. Nothing crazy, but I think the centering on this is going to get you more than anything. I mean, some of this stuff would be a better SGC candidate, probably. Because they have been allowing a lot more to slide than PSA recently. Your black Franz. Franz Wagner. Top and bottom centering for sure. We're going to check the edges out here. Something up here. All right. Let's take a look at what's on top of that card first. Oop, wrong thing. See that, like, faint piece right below the light? Pull it over here in the middle. You kind of can see it. That's just something I noticed right at the bat. A little bit of crazy stuff for in the chrome there, too. It's as if, um... Yeah, right in there. All that marks. Just stuff that I noticed into it besides the centering. But I get the light to refocus here, so give me a second. You got a little hanging booger there. Watch this. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it just don't look terribly bad. The other thing I see, let's take a look at this too down here below above the optic. Oh, let me get down off my finger. There we go. That divot right there in the light. Now I'll pull it off. Down low, left, in a green area. Can your call what you want to do with that? I mean... Oh, I just took a thick sleeve thing out of my stack. It was trying to put your card in. I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of room. If I see something that I would personally grade, I'll just keep it. Otherwise, you could just say whatever you want on stuff. All 
All right, we'll do one more and I'll cut and we'll get to the next stack. Like I said, it'll probably be like four chops or so and this, maybe five. Masterpieces Torque from Best. Where is Fuzz? A little bit of lineage on to it and that's Fuzz. That's going to get you right here. It's real noticeable. I mean, if you're good with nines or anything, you could always just tell me too right there. Very noticeable in the back. The rest of it looks pretty straight, man. I know the word nines and modern or ultra modern stuff is bad. Like a bad word. Don't say it. No. I will try one more in here. I think I'm trying to do these about 10 minute segments. I think we can knock out this torque here. These are a little bit more painful to look over. Because of the edges. There's a lot of us that's playing tricks on me. You have to look here on this side. I don't know what that is. It's not an impression. All right, let's take a look at our scope here. It just looks like they missed with the chrome going over and sealing the whole way in a way. I don't know. You could tell right there really well. Your call on to that. And then you also have... It might just be these cards. I haven't looked at them. It's the same thing on this edge here, too. I'm trying to get it to where it's not in the light. But you kind of could tell it there. Maybe if I go down... Pull this up. Nope. See, if I pull it up, you can't see it. Flat down. There you go. Like, right in there. You can tell, like, where they didn't, like, have the chrome go the whole way. The other thing is, I'm going to lay this down this way. Those are those surface scratches I said were real light through there. And right around in here. Right through that three. Nothing too awfully bad, but I just don't know what they're going to consider onto that. Because if you do not blow it up on microscope, it looks like rough edges. Okay, I don't know if you had like a 16 second clip in between this or not when I do this. If you do, this is because it messed up on me at first and it was spinning. All right, the mellow mosaic, mo true mosaic. Okay, wanted to get a little excited there. Promising. Front looks pretty decent, man. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. I want to check some of the stuff out real quick just to double tap it, but it looks decent. Ah, got to get the cloth down. All right. Yeah. Losing the light. There we go. Looks good. Looks real good.
All right, we'll check his famous spots where they all like to like leave little impressions here. Nothing in the groin area. All right, double check, check. And then the other place that usually gets it up here in the face. No, nah, man, it looks good. It looks good. I didn't really see them minus the regular print lines in the back, which I think they're giving everybody nowadays. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I'd feel confident at lowest being a 9, highest 10. Unless my old batty eyes miss something. Ah, missed it. Ah, there it is. The Shilber Lamello is up next. This, I had a little concern because I saw it through the case. Let me pull it up here so you can see it. See that line going down that way? I think that's just fuzz. Yep. And see this right above his head? Hard. There it is. I just had er. Go that way. Right there to the right of the light. Those are my two big concerns on to it. I don't know what all these are. We're going to look at it. Yeah, you got a lot of divots in the back. That's what those are. Right there. Right there. Below the light. Right there. Um, here's your scuff slash scratch in the divot area. Oh, let me see how I can do this. It's one thing back. It's reflecting the light back. Yeah, I might not win where it's at. Right there. And you can kind of tell. It's a little crazy looking. The head I'll be able to get better, but those right in there. I don't know how forgiving they'll be on that. You holler, let me know what you want done. Yeah, we should be able to hit both on left here. All right, next, Gourmet Green Lamello debut. Yes, oh, we got three left. My bad, three left. We might be able to do it. Something funky going on there. Might be my eyes. That looks pretty decent. It might be worthy. I mean, if not, I mean, it's it's a good nine. Can't get my mouse to click. There we go. So corner one's good. Corner two looks good. Three looks good. Ah, there we go. Looks pretty good there. What I was looking at in the blue here, I don't know if it'll show up or not. It's just weird looking. Yeah, it might just be my eyes in that bluish green area. Yeah, not bad. 
Let me just make sure we got nothing there pilling that I missed. Nope. Usually they get me right around in here. Minor scratches. I mean, I'd chance this one. I'll hold it for sure. I'm guessing this is that orange fluorescent. Or reactive orange. I don't know. I'll look them up. If they're judging the centering from prism up and the words up, it would be off top and bottom. But I don't know what they're using, to be honest. Overall, it looks pretty good. Looking good. Let me take this way. Can't get a hold of my cloth here. Here we go. Now I get to focus back. A uh, little thing right there. I'll have to look at that again. Where's that at? Below. In the white below the diamond. All right. That might be hard to see. That was one thing I didn't notice whenever I was looking this over. I was just looking at it real quick. Sorry. Show it to you here in a second. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else picking up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Ah, keep missing the clicker. Here we go. So it's right... Come on. Right below the light. Do you see a real little micro speck? That's what we've seen. So your call on it, I mean, I didn't see it. I probably would chance this at maybe economy. I don't know what a nine sells for, so that's something you'll have to look at. <coughs> I'll put this in the pile to, you know, waiting to hear back on. All right, last one, man, last one. The Mosaic Disco. Hmm. 
Let's see something here. Well, this is a difference of variation. I'm going to show you something here. See all the dots right there? Now, let me see if I can make them vanish. Maybe I can't. I can do it without with me not looking at Oh, there we go. Let me see here. It's up and down. Nope, I can't do it on camera. All right, let me go like this. Okay. There we go. You see now that big print line right there to the left going down? I don't know how that will affect this. I mean, if you're not like really staring at it, and if you don't angle it like I just did to see it, you won't notice it. Back looks good. Let's, I'll show you what I mean on this too. It took me a second to get that because of the camera. So, how can I do this? Right there. You kind of can see the bold line. I don't know why that's there. It's like a tamper seal on like a $100 bill type deal. The rest of it looked pretty good, but we're going to go over it just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because all them little dots get me going crazy. I start thinking I'm in a rave party back in Hawaii. Back in the late 90s. Right, let me switch this and move my cloth. There we go. Okay, that's one of them crazy discos. Yeah, see, that's why I said these take a little bit more time. Them freaking disco balls get me all the time. All right, let me flip her head up. All right. I don't see anything real crazy. I mean, a little bit of scuff there, but it's kind of hard. Little divot right there in his arm in the light to the right now. Yeah, you let me know now what you want to do. I mean, new graders. Might not catch it. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a known fault either into all the cards. So that is it. I'm going to get this video put together and get it posted. Um, definitely keeping the green and the true mosaic for you. The rest you let me know later.